good morning, everybody. Um, you know, first of all, was a, you know, uh, last week was a very tough loss. Uh, it was a game that uh, I felt and we felt going in that we should have won. Um, you know, played, um, you know, back and forth for three quarters and fourth quarter just uh, things just broke loose and, and they was the victor. Uh, you know, as I told the guys before, uh, for every play that they made defensively, we had a guy in that area. For every offensive play that we could have made to go ahead, drop ball, things of that nature, uh, things that you don't have in big games. And, uh, you know, we get back, and, and as I told you, we're going to continue to work, uh, getting ready for Texas Southern and uh, clean it up and pick up the pieces and move forward. All right. Coach, you said you guys fought for three quarters. Did, did y'all lose steam or, or – no, it came down to two plays. Uh, we had one play. Uh, they We ended up going, it should have been 14-14. Uh, we had one play that could have made it 14-14 instead of 10-14. Fifth-year senior, bicep, drop football. Come back, kick the field goal. They get the ball. The very next play, <laughs> they throw a screen. A fifth-year senior don't make the tackle. So... Uh, those two plays cost cost us a ball game, and uh, you know, and and that's the thing is I, I tell you know tell the young guys that's here and and the guys that's here that's trying so hard that we have to change the culture from within, and by changing the culture within, it starts with the team. We got to change, uh, you know, the personnel, the desire, and the will to win, and we have to continue to uh, put that forward. You know, you're not going to come in and just change a mindset overnight. Uh, you know, every play that they made, we had a guy in that area. And, and, uh, and, and as I, you know, continue to say, you know, if, if a guy runs scot-free through our defense, then you, we some bad coaches. But when a guy runs in the defense and we got a guy right there, that means we got out wheeled by who we had in that area. When 10 people do what they're supposed to do to get the football to a receiver and he drops it, that means we got our wheel right there. So we have to create the wheel to win and, uh, you know, and continue to work on that day to day. And uh, whether you fix it with uh, reps and repetition or you fix it with recruiting. And we're in that position now where we have to let the attrition fix the, uh, the, the wheel to win is what we're doing. Coach, there is a play with a heavy heart on Saturday, obviously. Though. How, how, how do you think you played on Saturday? And, and How's he been doing the last few days? You know what? Um, Saturday, you know, going into the game, uh, we had uh, that to deal with from a young guy uh, who you practiced for the last two weeks. And, you know, everyone said, well, why you put in another guy? You know, Kadarius has gotten 70% of the reps going into that game. And up until the fourth quarter where we were just throwing the ball down the field trying to catch up, Kadarius was like 65 70%. And when you got 10 drop balls, that means Kadarius did his job. It's the other guys around him that uh, really didn't have these adversities to deal with. They kind of let them down and let us down. And that's the thing that's most disappointing is that with everything that you have at stake and to go out and finish the way that you did, that's what disappointed me the most because we worked so hard. You know, we didn't just start working uh, to, to beat a and the two weeks that we had to prepare for them. We've been working to be in that position to have – uh, to have our own destiny in our hands since last year this time. And to go out and make those kind of mistakes, uh, it, it's, uh, it's very disheartening. Coach, former head coach, Coach Brian Jenkins, was on the opposite sideline this year. Mm -hmm. um, do you feel that he knew some of the tendencies you guys had and yeah. that played a factor into the game? What played a factor into the uh, game from Coach Jenkins on the sideline he knew uh, it wasn't even about football. He, he knew the mental toughness of these guys going in. You know, when you pull up into a stadium and the former coach is outside your bus, uh, you know, chastising guys and trying to get them edged up and worked up, then they come out the tunnel. You got to send the state troop out because he's doing the same thing. It's just low-budget character. And what happened, the guys were so focused on defeating – Coach Jenkins and his son, that that became the focus. So if you look at uh, Brian Jenkins Jr., he had zero stats. 
uh, when it came to us. Because the focus of the team went to we're going to get his son. And while they focusing on his son, somebody else is weighing us out on the other side of the field. And, it, and, it, and as I constantly was telling them throughout the game, get your focus off of them guys and put it on the team. Our mission ain't to come in to play these two. It's to win this game. And uh, we got sidetracked, and, uh, and they just never responded. Your thoughts on finally being able to step back in the stadium uh, this weekend? Man, you know, I just left a staff meeting, and I'm, we've been gone so long, it, we got to almost break back out the notes and rubric of how it is to play at home. What do you do <laughs> on Thursday, Friday, preparing up to the game? Or how do we practice and those kind of things? I, you know, with the scheduling and how that stuff was, it's been tough. You know, you go out, you beat Tuskegee, and now the next up you got Auburn. Go out, you beat Alcorn. Next up, you got South Alabama. Now you own the road all those weeks, and then to come back home, we've been wearing the same jersey for seven weeks. So now to come back home to be able to put on something different, I mean, you feel like Lazarus. <laughs> what do you know about this Texas Southern team? Because they got some coming in. I know they've been getting better every week. I know they've been scoring some points. They're playing some good old downhill smash mouth football. Uh, I know they're trying to fly around on the defense, and I know they're coming in here on Saturday. And we got to be prepared to play a good football game. Do you have any thoughts on the, the recent change? I think it just came out about the SWAC championship game not being played in uh, Birmingham this year. Well, you know what? Actually, it, it, it's probably going to turn out to be a good thing because if you looked at the attendance for, uh, you know, for, the, for the championship games in the most recent years, been kind of down because most folks are either saving for, uh, you know, the national championship game and now to be able to create another revenue stream on campus, on someone's campus and hopefully it's our campus, hopefully it just shakes out in the folds and it comes here, uh, that the, to create a revenue stream where the home-based folks get to be right at home and tailgate and do things, I think is actually going to be a great thing.